So I'm Sasha Weissman from uh, Chemical Engineering and Biological Engineering at Princeton, but uh, my lab is right here in the Genomics Institute. Our lab is interested in chemical regulation processes in cells. We would like to understand how chemical signals control processes inside cells and how chemical signals make cells communicate with each other in tissues. Our labs try to understand chemical principles behind tissue patterning. We try to incorporate quantitative approaches and mathematical models in studying fly development. So one of the main objectives of our lab is to understand the mechanisms behind and thus uh, the implications of these different processes like protein-protein interactions and transcriptional events in signal transduction pathways. Uh, we use early development of Drosophila ovaries and embryos as our model system. Hi, I'm Bomi. I'm a second year grad student working for Stas Schwarzman. In the lab, I'm studying the dorsoventral axis formation in Drosophila embryo, specifically the gene that will later on form the nervous system. I'm interested in understanding morphogenesis or the development of form during, um, during embryonic development. Uh, the particular system that I'm using to understand this is development of the fly egg. Uh, the fly egg has two breathing tubes that are formed um, initially from a single monolayer epithelial sheet. And I'm trying to understand how the cells rearrange and something about the um, mechanical control of this to understand um, how to get complex structures from initially simple structures. We look at development in a quantitative way and use Drosophila as our uh, model organism. Using fluorescently tagged proteins, we are able to look at embryo development and are able to identify the critical transport processes required for morphogen gradient formation. That is how signaling molecules travel through uh, the tissue of interest. My main contribution is in the lab is to make uh, these sort of back of the envelope mathematical models that are extremely simple but very tractable and help us favor the hypotheses that have been proposed based on qualitative studies done earlier or build newer theories that will explain the new results that have been obtained. In Stas' words, we build quantitative models to make qualitative predictions. When we start the project, we rarely know what exactly is that we're going to need, whether it's going to be imaging or genetics or statistics or modeling, but uh, so far it has been working. It's a small lab and people are closely knit together and work together on um, projects that are would every year get to be more and more interesting.